Earlier today, it was announced that legendary actor John Amos has unfortunately passed away at the age of 84. That's right, y'all. Reports came out earlier today confirming the passing of Good Times actor John Amos. However, fans were left with many questions after finding out that John Amos actually passed away on August 21st of this year. That's right, y'all. Now, of course, John's son Casey put out a statement earlier today confirming the passing of his father. And the statement reads, It is with heartfelt sadness that I share with you that my father has transitioned. He was a man with the kindest heart and a heart of gold. And he was loved by the world over many fans who considered him their TV father. All right, now again, that was Casey Amos confirming the news of his father's passing earlier today in a statement. As of right now, there's still no word as to how we're just finding out about the passing of John Amos on October 1st, considering that saying he passed away on August 21st of this year. Okay, and it seems as if the fans are not the only ones who have some questions. Now, moments ago, John's daughter Shannon, she put out a post reacting to the news via IG that reads, I am without words. Our family has received the heartbreaking news that my dad, John Allen Amos Jr., transitioned on August 21st. We are devastated and left with many questions about how this happened 45 days ago, learning about it through the media like so many of you. This should be a time of honoring and celebrating his life, yet we are struggling to navigate the wave of emotions and uncertainty surrounding his passing. Still, there is some semblance of peace in knowing my father is finally free. My family and I deeply appreciate the outpouring of love, calls, and texts. Please continue to hold our family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you. All right, now again, that was Shannon Amos, daughter of John Amos, reacting to the news of her father's passing. And as you can see in the post, she says she was blindsided after finding out about her father passing away on social media earlier today. Okay, according to Shannon, she says she was completely unaware that her father had actually passed away 45 days ago. Okay, leaving her with some questions and concerns about what actually happened with her father now. For those who may not know, last year, Shannon went public informing fans that she believed her father was being abused okay now again what i did was put some videos together so that way you guys can get context as to how we got here right because again so many people uh had so much love and respect for john amos and his contributions to the culture you get what i mean the impact that he left behind you know playing so many iconic roles and characters listen man a lot of people devastated after hearing the news and again uh, we still have to wait and see as to what happened and why we're just finding out about the passing of John Amos. But again, I just want to leave you a little bit of context so you can understand uh, where we are when it comes to John and his family right now. But as of right now, y'all make sure to leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below. Make sure to, you know, just pay your respects to a legend, man, because right now it seems like we're losing a lot of legends. And like I said, I just want to know, what are your thoughts about why we're just finding out about the passing of John Amos? Like I said, it's very odd considering that they're saying he passed away on August 21st. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But look, man, this is all I got for y'all today. Again, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. Rest in peace to a legend, John Amos. Um, for those of you who didn't, I'm about to share. Um, I'm currently in Memphis, Tennessee. It's raining out. Um, <clears throat> my dad is in the hospital here in Memphis. He was traveling on business, um, from what I understand. And he called me and he called for help. And then um, <clears throat> we had a family member fly down to check on him because I was out of the country and I got here as fast as I could. And um, in the last couple of weeks, as things have unfolded, uh, we've learned that my father has been the victim of elder abuse and um, financial exploitation. And pretty much <clears throat> everything that was worth anything that was in his home is gone. Um, it's really, really horrible. We're working with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations the local county sheriff in Colorado where my dad lived. Um, and it has been a really difficult time. I did a very emotional post yesterday on Facebook. Um, I feel a little stronger today. He was up and talking today, which, you know, touched my heart and gave me some hope. <clears throat> 
Uh, I'm still very upset and angry to know that there are people in the world that would do something like this to a senior citizen, to an older person. Uh, especially if you know my dad, you know he'd give you the shirt off his back. He is one of the most generous people that I know and he's always provided for his family and this is devastating. Um, we have a long road ahead of us. Um, he no longer has home, in, home security, so we're going to have to find a safe place for him to live um, when he gets out of the hospital, and we're hopeful that he will. Uh, he's been in ICU, and um, I'm asking for your prayers, your love, your thoughts. Uh, it took me a lot to get out of my ego and out of my own way, and probably against my dad's best wishes because he's a very private person. Um, but my family and I have pulled our resources and we still need help. We need help to support him. Uh, can you give me a minute? Okay, ma'am, just, I'm on a call. <laughs> wow, people, Karens are out today. Okay. <laughs> I'm in Memphis, y'all. I just left a diner and just heard like the worst, worst good old boy conversation ever. It was, um... Anyway, let me let me digress. I am in Memphis. I am in the South, and it is the South, and I can't wait to get my dad home and out of here. Um, he is doing. Um, he's he's got a lot a long road ahead of him. Let's just put it like that. Um, my dad is a very private person. He probably would not love that I have launched a GoFundMe campaign, and I've done so because we've pulled our resources and. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure what this lady wants. She's back again. Uh, we have pulled our resources, and we have um, we have so much that we have to deal with. We have to hire lawyers uh, to pursue the suspects. There, I can't. I'm not at liberty yet because the Colorado Bureau of Investigations is involved, as well as the local sheriff's department. So I can't share t too many details about who the perpetrators are. Um, I can only say they were caregivers or a caregiver. And um, that's about all I can say about that right now. Um, my dad is going to need extensive medical, medical care and rehabilitation. We're going to have to relocate him into a safe space with long-term care. And um, we don't know how horrible yet um, the financial crimes were, but um, we know it's a lot. And so I am asking for everyone out there, I'm going to drop the GoFundMe link in this post. Uh, I will leave this on my page um, and I will drop it in this chat in just a moment. And if you all would be so kind as to share it with your communities, with your friends, your family. If you don't know my dad, he's um, John Amos. He's the actor from Good Times, Roots, Coming to America. Um, West Wing. He's been in over 200 shows. He has worked over 60 years in entertainment industry and is one of the most generous, loving people that I know. And I hate that my dad is going through this right now. And I hate that the hardship that is put on my family. <clears throat> I will have to stay in um, Memphis until um, hopefully we get him released. And um, yeah, it's a lot. I'm going to look at some of the comments real quick. Um, thank you, Bonnie. I see that. Francis. Um, we need to stop elder. Yeah, we do need to stop elder abuse. I agree. Uh, I had no idea that it, well, actually I did. I do know that it is a horrible thing uh, that happens in many countries, but in the U.S. Um, and then it costs I think people steal over like $8 billion a year or something like that. I think that there need to be better laws in place for elderly people. Um, and if I can encourage you to get, I don't care how old you are, you should have your wishes in writing and have an advocate for you all the time. Um, unfortunately, my dad spent a lot of time in the hospital alone before we were able to really locate him and see him. And um, not having someone to advocate for you can really be detrimental. 
Um, I know that there are people here who are going to want to talk to me and call me. Um, send me a text message. I'm kind of getting overwhelmed with calls between lawyers, detectives, investigators, my family, friends. So please send me a, t a text message and I'll call you back as soon as possible if you're one of my personal friends. Um, if you can donate, you will help us um, be able to retain the attorneys that we need for litigation. Um, to pursue criminal charges. Unfortunately, one of the things that I've learned is that like Adult Protective Services has limited resources and I think they kind of look at these things like it's a family matter and they don't really and They don't really respond the way they need to. I had been calling APS for quite some time and now here we are um, I think it's the same. I feel like it's the same with the police department. I think that you know, they look at these things like they're family crimes. So what our lawyers will be doing is actually putting the together the case and bringing it to the police because, you know, um, from what I'm learning, this has been going on for quite some time. And unfortunately I was traveling and I had no idea that what I was going to see and what happened to my dad's home and all of those things would be uh, part of our reality. Um, I am heartbroken. Uh, I got myself together today. I'm, I'm trying to keep it together for this share. Um, but we could really utilize uh, your support, your love, your prayers, your good energy. Um, and I would be super grateful for that. Give me one second. I'm going to drop the link in the chat and you all can read it and see. And please share it with your Here you go. That's the GoFundMe link. Um, I'll make sure that I'm going to put a post um, today and if you guys could share that post. If you have any influencer friends, if you have any friends who um, you want to tag on that, please do. We want to get the word out here because we want the suspects who did this, the alleged suspects, to pay for what they did. Um, this can't continue and um, yeah. I'm going to leave it right there because I know if I keep going, I'm going to get emotional again. I love you all. Um, you know, I hope that if you have parents at, who are living, make sure they have their affairs in order. Make sure you have um, someone appointed for their long-term care in the future. And... Um, and do that for yourself to, you know, any age, it doesn't matter how old you are, none of us are going to get out of here alive. But in this lifetime, we should have the love and support. And honestly, what I want for my dad, my intention in all of this is to give him a safe space to live for the rest of his life, however long that is. I just want him to be safe and to be with the people who love him and who care about him. Um, because clearly these people had other interests and it wasn't my dad. Um, he's 83 years old and I think, like I said this on Facebook yesterday, the thing that hurts me the most is that anyone, anyone could have asked him for anything and he would give you the shirt off his back. And the fact that they stole from him and that they stole things from his home and you know left him in those kind of conditions and dropped him off at a hospital like completely outrageous completely egregious and outrageous um so please send my family lots of love and light and healing energy and um and thank you for your love and support i will do my best to go in the thread afterwards and answer questions i'm gonna go by the hospital again and just check on him see how he's doing um and try to get the latest information that i can and um, um i am in memphis tennessee i'm a long ways from home right now i, I live you know you all know I'm, i live out of the country uh, most of the time and um completely out of my element here uh, but you know I know there's some good people here I've met some good people here and then they've been very helpful and we have an amazing uh, legal advisor right now that's helping us and um, my whole family uh, is being supportive and we're all pulling our resources too so um, please share this and I'm sending y'all love and healing energy wherever you are I will do my best to go through the thread and answer your questions, so just check back in a little bit. I'm going to get going, but um, 
um, and I'll come on a little later and let you know how my dad is doing and give you guys updates and um, yeah please share okay thank you you all um, love you again and have a beautiful beautiful blessed day thank you Today we got John Amos responding to claims made by his daughter yesterday, Shannon Amos, stating that her father was suffering from elderly abuse and financial exploitation. Well, according to John Amos, that ain't the case. All right. Now, for those wondering what is going on, listen, I'm just as confused as you are. So his daughter came out to make another video responding to this TMZ article. So what we're going to do is check out the video here, what his daughter had to say in response to her father denying these claims. And then I will catch you afterwards on my commentary. All right. With that being said, let's get right to it. Hey, it's me again. Uh, I just saw that a TMZ story broke. Half of the story broke. Uh, there's definitely another side to that story. Um, so I'm alive here. Hello everyone. I uh, see that a TMZ story broke and um, unfortunately it says some really like that I made this up which is not true and so I would invite TMZ to do some accurate reporting and check with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations to see if there is in fact a real case because there is and I am not crazy. So um, Thank you, TMZ, for breaking the story, but I want you to report it accurately. And all due respect to um, my father's response, I understand that um, this is embarrassing and upsetting and probably not what he would have wanted me to do, but it is in his best interest. And to um, the travel agent pretending to be a real publicist, Belinda Foster, yeah, um, for real really come on like we already this story is you all have no idea what is really going on and because I don't want to have any defamation of character or slander I can't name names yet but do some homework I invite you all to do some homework do a little digging do a little research and figure this out for yourselves this is real and um, TMZ if you're watching um, I've sent you my number and you are more than welcome to reach out to me for the real story um, my reputation and integrity is everything and my family my lawyers and um, my dad's closest friends are standing with me on this yes closest family and friends and so um, I hope that justice is served. Uh, I understand that this isn't the narrative that uh, my father would like to put out, but I'm going to stand in the truth because one thing I know that if I don't, this is going to happen again and again and again. And so far this person has gotten away with this and it's not going to happen this time. I don't care where we have to go. I'm not going through this again. So. TMZ, if you're there and you want the real story, call me up. Call me up. I'm happy to share. And actually, I would actually rather go to a credible, uh, newsworthy outlet and share the real story because I have the real story and I have the receipts. All of the receipts. So, um,. I hope you all will support me in this. I promise you with everything that I have, this is the truth. And I know there's going to be trolls and I know there's going to be backlash. I knew that when I stepped into this space and decided to share publicly. And I'm doing it whether my dad likes it or not to protect his best interest, to protect my family's best interest, so that the perpetrator or perpetrators will go to jail this time. Um, you know, unfortunately, law enforcement hasn't really had um, been able to do this, and this is why we have lawyers, and this is why we're doing the things that we're doing. So um, my GoFundMe campaign, TMZ, is for a real purpose, and that is to protect and um, take care of my dad in this time. And um, I would love to see the credentials of Miss Foster, and if she has them, good for you um, but I'm gonna just say this that I have all the receipts all of them photos videos everything so 
and just check with Colorado Bureau of Investigations and you'll get the truth. So I'm signing out now. I'm sending love and light to everyone. Um, you know, when you walk in your truth and when you walk with integrity, trust me, doors swing wide open. The people who are playing the games, who are pulling the strings, who are manipulating even my father or his words, it's all going to come out. What My grandmother used to say, what doesn't come out in the wash will come out in the rinse. So I am um, sending love to everyone, and I'm sending prayers and blessings and um, continued healing to my dad. And I hope that justice is served. Thank you so much, y'all. And um, share this story, share this. And at TMZ, um, you know how to reach me. I'm right here. Now, as of right now, the GoFundMe page created by his daughter, Shannon Amos, is still up and active. She also made a post earlier today via IG stating, Speaking our truth and shining a light on an issue that people want to keep private can require confronting some uncomfortable realities. Society often discourages this path, preferring comforting illusions and silence over discomfort. There may even be people who want to silence you because the truth is too hard to face. Yet, in truth, we find liberation and growth. If you want to read the rest to this post, feel free to pause the video, okay? Now, earlier today, a post was made from John Amos' IG account that you can see here for yourself that reads, the GoFundMe was not authorized by John Amos, right? Adding more confusion to this whole situation. Now, initially, when the reports came out that John was suffering from financial exploitation and elderly abuse, a lot of people started to ask, well, where is his son, right? We're all used to seeing his son together with John on social media making videos, and people started to leave, you know, comments and you know, started having questions. Well, Casey eventually popped up in the comment section responding to some of the fans, right, who had questions. And this is one of his comments, right? You see here it says, You will find out the real deal soon enough. Katie Rogers, a former caregiver, and her husband, Andrew Rogers, defrauded John Amos. They are now on the run in Kansas City as they cared for him somewhat in West Cliff, Colorado back in October. When Casey showed up on October 31st to get to the bottom of this, the fraud couple went ghost. He also responded to fans asking if John was okay, and as you can see here, it says, Some water retention needed to be drained from his lower extremities. Let us know if you require any more details about your family. Now, Casey spent some time responding to other fans leaving comments and concerns. However, people still weren't convinced, right? People in the comment section were asking, well, listen, if you truly are on the side of your father, how about you post a video with you and your dad? Because again, we're all accustomed to seeing him and John together on TikTok and on social media and videos. And that's exactly what he did today. That's right, y'all. We have a video with Casey and his dad, right? An updated video. But before we get into it, listen, I have to say, right? Um, of course, all of us were sad to, to see the headlines. You know what I mean? John Amos, uh, you know, being abused and financially exploited. Listen, a lot of us grew up watching good times. Some would even say that, you know, he is America's dad. So it's natural to see so many fans have questions and concerns, right? But to see John Amos, or at least a post, you know, be made from his IG account, uh, basically denying the claims made by his daughter only adds more confusion to this whole situation. So I hope uh, you know, eventually we will get the answers we are looking for. But one thing's for sure, something definitely did happen to John Amos. So I hope things get resolved. Like I said, man, in due time, I'll follow up with another video to give y'all an update. But as of right now, listen, I'm about to show y'all a video that was posted earlier today by John's son, KC. Y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. Are y'all still conflicted about this whole situation? Let me know down below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. It was a Saturday night and the jungle was bright and the gamers all stalked their prey where the code was crime and the neon line and the week was doomed to pay. Where crime begun and the daughter and the son and the father all stayed in jail while mom lied awoke with a heart half broke as they loaded the train for hell. Now I was branded the beast and I said at this feast before I was even a man. And the guarded display of the midnight array lit up like a brand new Christmas toy. <clears throat> I was making my play for the female prey while I was still a boy. I was young and prancy. Reefer was my fancy. Yes, sir. That's it. 
and bring heat on them fools, just like Shakespeare put them kings and queens on blast. John Amos' daughter Shannon Amos dropped a bombshell when she uploaded a video on her IG, revealing to the world that her father was possibly being abused and financially exploited. That's right, y'all. Now, we posted this video last week, and as you can see, it went viral, right? Gathering over 387,000 views. Now, people are tuning in wondering, what is going on with John Amos, right? Well, and also calling out the GoFundMe page created by sister Shannon Amos, adding more confusion to this whole situation. Now, as you can see here, Shannon Amos would eventually upload another video that she would later on delete, responding to her father and brother disputing her claims, as well as informing the people, listen, I have receipts, I have proof, and eventually the truth will be revealed. Now, on June 9th, the article was released on behalf of Colorado Sheriff's Office, informing the public that they will be investigating claims of elder abuse involving John Amos, confirming that a police report was definitely filed. Now, after the release of this article, I took it upon myself to email Shannon Amos to see if she would be interested in coming on the platform to clear the air about the claim she made involving her father. And not too long after, I would receive a response via email, as you can see here, that reads, Hi, Sensei Rip. I wanted to reach out to provide a statement on behalf of Shannon Amos. At this time, she is unable to do an interview, but please feel free to attribute the statement to me as her spokesperson. Shannon Amos and the family are unwavering in their commitment to ensuring John's safety, stability, and healing. Shannon will not provide further comment as the investigation remains open with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations and Custer County Sheriff's Department. This continues to be a private family matter that Shannon hopes will be resolved soon. Thank you, Anne. Now again, that was a statement on behalf of Shannon Amos sent by her spokesperson, Anne Torres. As you can see in the email, she says she can't do interviews at the moment because of the investigation involving her father, right? Which makes sense. Well, this morning, we got a bombshell, y'all. A viral video made its way on social media, allegedly exposing Casey Amos. That's right, y'all. I'm not lying. I wish I was, and I ain't gonna lie. This video is gonna get under your skin. So, look, y'all check out this video. Leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below, and yeah, let's get right to it. So you're of the opinion that you're still using and drugs and misusing me and my money. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Is that what the, the essence of this is? Yes. Okay. Then he needs to be confronted. We need to find out the truth because all of us are laboring under the assumption that he is and it may be justified. It may be the case. Let's determine if that is the case. Let's sit down as a family get face to face and let him off. And if he cries or curls up or don't want to meet with you or don't want to see you, and he doesn't, that's clear. He's hidden the back of the car rather than let his presence be known the other day when we came up, came up here looking for whatever it was I needed. So that's got to be dealt with. This issue has got to be dealt with because there's no sense in me making plans to try and leave something for Jazz and Kiara if he's got plans to spend it all on himself and drugs and whatever else it is he's buying. Um, that needs to be confirmed. And the confirmation would be best done by a doctor. Yes, he has cocaine in his system. Yes, he's using. I see evidence of uh, habitual use. And then that's it. I'm through with it. This has got to be in the hands of professionals. Because I, I saw him admit that he had misused your mother's money and her estate planning for his own benefit, buying this and that and whatever else he was buying. 
So he admitted it finally. I asked him one day, I said, did you misuse your mother's money? That's what you're being accused of. He dropped his head. He said, yes, I was. Trigger warning. I thought that was the end of it in terms of misusing her money, that everybody was aware and that steps had been taken to stop him from doing that, however he was doing it. Now I'm being told, no, he hasn't stopped. He's still misusing it, still misusing drugs, misusing your money now. And I'm not, the only way to stop it is to have a confrontation. I'm not going to bring no priest in and pray and all of that. Come in here and sit down, man. Tell me. Because I have asked him in the last couple of weeks, I said, are you using again? He said, no, I'm, I'm smoking, but I'm not using. So I said, well. But an addict can't smoke. I'm not here to argue with you as to who can do what, Shannon. I'm just stating facts, as you did and as I listened for as long as you talk. All I'm doing is just stating facts. So the only thing I propose to do is he's at his motel or in his room or at the motel. Go get him, bring him here, and let's have this conversation with the whole family. It's got to happen. It can't go on. It can't continue. I don't have no family life now. You tell him, you tell him as bad as I want to be with Bill and you and, and, and Kiara, Sit out in the car to three and four in the morning. At my age, 81 years old, sitting on his fucking car, excuse me, Kara, and, and you know, for using profanity as I talk to you. What the hell? I said, I come in here, I can't sleep. All I can do is watch TV. Get up in the morning, five and six in the morning, you can't sleep. Drive down to Willie's. That's my day. I said, I didn't want my life to be like this, not here in Colorado. What am I running and hiding for? When the fuck do I get some peace? Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace, you now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. Kings of Carmen, it's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me, old. You fuck with lambskin condoms. I ain't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. No! For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. They ain't no point of both of us get I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> uh. no, sir. Personal question. 